Hey guys, Rochelle here, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to animate with GIMP. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the basics of animating with GIMP. So the first thing you need to do is create a file. And now you'll get this blank white sheet. The way animation works is you're going to want to make separate layers, and these layers are going to act as a single frame in your animation. If you leave the background alpha, then the animation will stack on top of each other like you see right now. But if you make the background a solid color or a solid background, no transparency, then they will actually look more animated like this. Now to actually get the animation to work, we're going to click Filters, Animation, and then Playback. Now you'll see the animation is playing back for you. In the bottom left, you can see some different tools, which will help you choose the frames per second as well as the speed to play it back. Another thing you can do with animations is you can click Filters, Animation, and Optimize for GIF. This will help by making the file size smaller, but also wrapping the canvas size to be only the size that you need for this animation. One trick that I like to use is creating a layer and setting the opacity to 50%. And then I go ahead and duplicate that layer many, many times until I have enough to complete my animation, or at least get started on it. And this will let you have the onion skin effect where you can see the previous frame, but still see what you're drawing. Once you're done with all of your drawing and you've checked the playback and it looks good, you're going to want to export it. To export it, you're going to click File, Export As, and then you're going to change this little drop down on the bottom to say GIF. And you'll name it whatever you want, and that'll save it. Now, once it's saved, you can go ahead and make sure that works by opening it up in a web browser. Right now I'm opening it up in Chrome, and you'll see that the animation plays back. And now you're done. If you guys liked this video or you thought it was helpful, please give me a like, go ahead and drop a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.